Okay, so my flannel knickers. This is my favourite short story from Leonora. Everyone always talks about the debutante, which it is a very good story and does reflect or kind of really shows you Leonora's approach to, you know, high society and this elite background she came from, because that one's essentially about a girl who doesn't want to go to a debutante ball and her hyena friend decides to go and they rip off the face or nibble off the face of a maid and the hyena wears it and goes to this ball. Very surreal, very quite graphic as well. There's another tale about, which also resonates with me, I don't know if you know I'm trying to attract birds to my balcony, but it's about a crate, it's about a lady, an eccentric lady who likes to feed meat to crows and has all these rabbits. But anyway, my flannel knickers, I can't find my book, so I printed it off and made a dramatic scroll. I'm just going to read a little bit, and I want to warn you, I don't know why, but I keep channeling this voice of an eccentric old lady, even when I've been doing, like, erotic novel readings, this Victorian posh lady is there. Maybe it's Leonora, let's see, but I hope you enjoy this tale. So, my flannel knickers. I've made a scroll, so... Thousands of people know my flannel knickers, and though I know this may seem flirtatious, it is not. I am a saint. The sainthood, I may say, was actually forced upon me. If anyone would like to avoid becoming holy, they should immediately read this entire story. I live on an island. This island was bestowed upon me by the government when I left prison. It is not a desert island. It is a traffic island in the middle of a busy boulevard and motors thunder past on all sides day and night. So, the flannel knickers are well known. They are hung at midday on a wire from the green and red, green and yellow automatic lights. I wash them every day and they have to dry in the sun. Apart from my flannel knickers, I wear a gentleman's tweed jacket for golfing it was given to me, and the gym shoes, no socks. Many people recoil from my undistinguished appearance. But if they have been told about me, mainly in the tourist guide, they make a pilgrimage, which is quite easy. Now, I must trace the peculiar events that brought me to this condition. Once I was a great beauty and attended all sorts of cocktail drinking, prize giving and taking, artistic demonstrations, and other casually hazardous gatherings organized for the purpose of people wasting other people's time. I was always in demand, and my beautiful face would hang suspended over fashionable garments, smiling continually. My ardent heart, however, beat under the fashionable costumes, and this very ardent heart was like an open tap, pouring quantities of hot water over anybody who asked. This wasteful process soon took its toll upon my beautiful smiling face. My teeth fell out. The original structure of the face became blurred and then began to fall away from the bones in small, ever-increasing folds. I sat and watched the process with a mixture of slighted vanity and acute depression. I was, I thought, solidly installed in my lunar plexus with clouds of sensitive vapour. So I'm going to stop there. I think this story is fantastic. I also feel like maybe I can see my own future there. Yes, with my ardent heart, but mostly the flannel knickers and also living on a traffic island. It's fantastic. Now, I'm going to have a spot of lunch for now. Thank you for listening. There's going to be a bit more to come because I'm not even blooming started talking about her art. But let's hold up for a second. <laughs>